I want to teach you about the hide links command in Flinto for Mac. And this is really useful when you start to have a lot of links and they're getting in the way of things. Like if I want to select that little gear icon, I can't quite get it. Let me zoom in on that. I can't quite click it because there's a link in the way. And if I move that, there's another link in the way. And sometimes I just want the links out of the way. If you click the hide links button in the toolbar, it hides all the links. And they're all still there. If I use the preview and I click around, it'll still follow the links, but they're hidden in the canvas so that I can uh, directly select these layers and not have the links get in the way. And then when you're ready, just click the button again to bring them back. Now the shortcut for this is Command L. And we chose a really easy shortcut for this because I like to do it really frequently. And sometimes I wanna turn the links off, quickly move something, turn the links back on. So Command L is a nice, easy shortcut for that. Now, sometimes you do want to hide just a single link. Maybe it's getting in the way and you can click the hide button next to the layer in the layer list. And there's also a checkbox in the inspector to hide a layer, or you can do command shift H to hide an individual link. And that works with regular layers as well. You can also lock a link. So locking a layer will prevent it from being selected in the canvas, which means you can click directly through it. So if I lock this square link here, and then I lock the one beneath it. Now I can select this gear. So if I know I don't need to manipulate those links for a while, I can just lock them temporarily. 